Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Police Simulator Patrol Officers. I do hope you're having a wonderful day of course. Happy Wednesday or whenever you are watching this. And this will be the final episode that we'll be doing in the city for a while as was promised a couple of episodes back. Uh, we will be going back out onto the highway after this one because I do know that you guys are really enjoying the highway. And yeah, I can't wait to get back out there as well. So that all being said, uh, we're going to start off in our combi here for today's episode. And I do hope you're all ready for this one, of course. And 119, you can show me 1041, 10, 8. And for this episode, we are going to be taking this lovely MPV or the multi purpose vehicle. And this is one of my favourites, actually, because you do have that ram bar on the front with the towing hook. Um, yeah, but let's get out on patrol. And how did I end up in the passenger seat? Probably because I pressed a certain button. Uh, 119, show me 1097, code 3, start major crime scene. Show me 23 on scene. Hey, sir. I'm just going to put some bandages on these wounds, alright? I'll be back with you in a moment. Hey, ma'am, can you stay with me? I'm going to have an ambulance en route for you, okay? Uh, 119 be advised currently performing CPR. Uh, can I get an ambulance down to my location, please? Come on, ma'am, you're doing great. Just stay with me. Ambulance is on its way. Okay, I'm just going to put some bandages on these wounds, alright? Okay, would you mind telling me what happened? Alrighty, ma'am. Alright, you just stay on the ground, okay? Ambulance will be here in a minute. Hey, ma'am. Just going to put some bandages on these wounds, alright? Okay, would you mind telling me what happened? Okay, ma'am, thank you for that. And just remain there for me, alright? Ambulance is here. Be with you in a minute. Hey, yes, sir, would you mind telling me what happened? Okay, not a problem, sir. And you just remain there for me, alright? Ambulance is here, I'll get to you in a minute.
There we are. Okay, so I've already spotted a couple of pieces of evidence. I saw a blade, which is down here. That's going to be one. We've got some pills, and we've also got more pills over here. So that's going to be three pieces of evidence. I'm not seeing anything else at the moment, but we'll go ahead and grab some evidence markers here. Okay, there we are. That's going to be one, and we've got another one there. And we've got another piece of evidence there. I'm not seeing any other pieces of evidence. So I'll go ahead and document those. So we've got one there, we've got one there, and we've got one there. Perfect. Morning, ma'am. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, man, thank you very much for that. Do you have any ID on you at all? Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Okay, Issa Saif, that is going to be valid. And that's going to be clear and valid, ma'am. You are free to leave, and for your own safety, I'm going to have to ask you to leave this area as well, okay? Morning, sir. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, sir. Thank you very much for that. Do you have any ID on you at all? Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Okay, Alex Pedersen. That is going to be expired. And everything else is going to be clear and valid. Okay, sir, at this time I'm going to be giving you a citation for that expired ID. That'll be between $75 and $100, okay? Alrighty, sir, you are free to leave. And for your own safety, I'm going to have to ask you to leave this area as well, okay? Good morning, ma'am. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department, would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, ma'am, thank you very much for that. Do you have any ID on you at all? Thank you very much, ma'am. Okay, Joanne Golubev, that is going to be a valid. And that's going to be clear and valid, ma'am. You are free to leave, and for your own safety, I'm going to ask you to leave this area as well, okay? Uh, 119, that crime scene is going to be code 4, and I have a description of a wanted person. It's going to be Sung Tariko. It's going to be a Caucasian female with black hair, and they're going to be wearing a beige shirt with a orange skirt, and I'm going to be out looking for them over. Someone did ask in the last episode if we could actually pick up the evidence once you've documented it, and that is a good point. I've never tried that. We could have a go, but I'm not too sure that that's a feature. Let's give it a go. So we'll pick up that marker. No, we can't, sadly. However, we greeted that civilian that said hello to us, so I guess that's all good. But yeah, it would be a good feature. So I will actually pass that along to Astragon and see if that could be added at some point. Okay, I may have a visual 119 standby possible 20 on that suspect. 119, 1070. Hey ma'am, stop running! BPD! Okay ma'am. 
At this time, we're going to be placed under arrest for fleeing from law enforcement. Please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed you. But instead of Franklin, no, it's just cost you. John Stanley's right to generally questions for me, ma'am. Excellent. 119, one in custody. Okay, ma'am. Do you have any idea on you at all? Okay, Sung Taruko, that is going to be expired. Okay, ma'am, at this time you're going to get a citation for that expired ID, that'll be between $75 and $100. And you're going to be further arrested for aggravated assault and for having an open warrant out in your name, okay? One nineteen. Can I get a thirty-two down for my current twenty for a ten fifteen? Ten four dispatch. Hey officer, thank you for coming out. This suspect is going to be all yours. Uh, 119, that wanted person in connection with the aggravated assault is going to be 1015, and you can show me code 4 and 108 over. One nineteen Chevy ten ninety seven code one to that debris in the road. One nineteen, show me twenty three on scene. Okay, looks like we were a bit late. Um, looks like this debris caused an accident. One nineteen, be advised. Uh, looks like there's an accident that's been caused by that debris over. Right, let's get this all removed, and then we'll have to take care of that accident before we can get off out of here.
119, be advised that debris is going to be all clear and I'm now going to deal with that accident, over. Alrighty, good morning ma'am, Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department, would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay ma'am, thank you very much for that, do you have any idea on you at all? License, registration, proof of insurance of the vehicle. Thank you ma'am, appreciate it. Okay, so in Maldonado, that's going to be valid, and that is also going to be valid. One Quebec, uniform, zero two three. Okay, she has an open warrant out for her arrest. There it is. Alrighty, ma'am, at this time you're going to be getting a citation for expired license plate. That'll be between fifty and two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. And have you consumed any alcohol or taken any drugs I should have made aware of? Okay ma'am, at this time you're going to be placed under arrest for having an open warrant out in your name, okay? Please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me and anything you say can or will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, you won't be born to you, but instead of Franklin, that should cost you. Do you understand these rights? Do you have any questions for me ma'am? Excellent, 119. One in custody. Alrighty ma'am, anything on you is going to poke me, hurt me, stick me or otherwise. Okay, the handgun is going to be fine as she does have a concealed carry permit. Okay, ma'am, if you're in safety, I'm going to place you in the back of my vehicle. Come with me, please. Alrighty, ma'am, mind your hair for me. Good afternoon, ma'am. Commander Martin, Brighton Police Department. Would you mind telling me what happened here, what you saw? Okay, ma'am. Thank you very much for that. Do you have any ID on you at all? License, registration, proof of insurance of the vehicle. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Okay, Paladars Wallace. That is going to be expired, and that is going to be a valid. One whiskey golf five eight zero. Okay, ma'am, at this time you're going to be getting a citation for that expired ID. That'll be between $75 and $100, okay? Alrighty, ma'am, have you consumed any alcohol or taken any drugs that I should be made aware of? Okay, and that's going to be DUI amphetamines. Ma'am, for that specimen of breath we just provided, you have tested positive for amphetamines. So at this time, I'm going to be placing you under arrest for driving under the influence of amphetamines. Please turn around and place your hands behind your back, boy. And anything you say you can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can afford an attorney, one will be upon you, but a state of frank and nurture cost you. Do you understand these rights? Do you have any questions for me, ma'am? Excellent, 119-1 in custody. Okay, ma'am. Do you have anything on you that's going to poke me, hurt me, sick me, or otherwise? Okay, ma'am. At this time, you're going to be getting an additional charge for possession of a firearm without a permit. Okay, ma'am, if you're in safety, I'm going to now take you and place you in the back of my vehicle. Come with me, please. Mind your head for me, ma'am. Let's get this vehicle searched and then we will be on our way. As it does appear that we can't 
can't really take any photos. So we will do what we can and then we'll be out of here. One nineteen, can I get a ten fifty one down to my current twenty or eight impounded vehicle? Ten for dispatch. Can I get a 1051 down to my current 20 for an impounded vehicle? Turn for dispatch on 119, that accident scene is going to be code 4. I need to show me 2, 10, 15, 10, 19. 2, 10, 15, 10, Jared for me please Okay ma'am stepping in for me and I'll take those cuffs off okay Okay, ma'am, aren't you heard for me? Okay, ma'am, stepping in for me and I'll take those cuffs off, okay? One nineteen, you can show me code four and ten eight available for calls. Alrighty guys, that is gonna be that for this episode of Police Similar Patrol Officers. I do hope you enjoyed that episode, of course. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you are new around here and you want to see more content just like that, then please do consider subscribing. But that is gonna be it from me for this episode, and until the next episode, take care.